Sawadee Club. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I would like to thank you all for attending this session. And my name is Rex. I'm a backend de developer from Line Today in Taiwan. And now I'm going to start with my topic, fast rendering and a vision settings in Line Today, and high traffic feature in Thailand. And this is my agenda. First, I'm going to start with the introduction of what Line Today is and how we build our architecture to fulfill the heavy active users in Line Today. For the such huge content platform, we have encountered some problems. To further speed up the page load time, we propose a new modular, modularized page setting architecture. In the second half part, I'm going to introduce some features released in Thailand. Line Today is a content platform which provides various kinds of information to you from the morning to the night. Before you go to work, we will recommend some news or events to you. For example, it may be weather information, uh, including pollution PM 2.5. During lunch, you can open Line app to read some news. And this is also the main feature in Line today. In the afternoon, you can watch some vi live videos and it may be fortune or lottery draw. After work, Line Today's ofi official account will push some news or events to you so that you can instantly read some breaking news today. And before you go to sleep, there are some interesting polls or educational quiz to be answered. Line Today provides many features to let people stick to Earth every day. And there are mainly three countries operated by Line Today. Those are Taiwan, Thailand, and Hong Kong. There are 38 million monthly active users in Line Today. And exactly, this is definitely not a small number. To handle such a numerous requests and users in Line Today, here is our server architecture. When the user is serving Line Today's web page, your browser would like to send a request to our server. Between the client and the server, there is a CDN, stands for Content Delivery Network, which is a geographically distributed network of proxy servers and data centers. The object storage is not within our internal server neither. It will instantly return the images or videos to the user, that which consumes lots of network traffic. And according to the statistics, only 4% of traffic will hit the internal server, which means 96 of traffic is handled and returned by CDN. The web views are composed by front-end server, which is based on Nux.js. Front-end server is also in charge of server-side rendering, user behavior tracking, advertisement requests, SEO, and so on. The contents and data are processed and stored by backend server. We have separated our backend server from a monolithic application, which means a huge single server into a microservice architecture, which is a series of independent services. We separated our server by different domains. That the microservice only need to know the necessary data and ex external third-party API. For example, the main feature, news itself, is processed by the feeding server, which concerns the uh, articles from external content provider by RSS format. And internal CMS is a content management system for our internal editors to set up the page. External CMS is for external editors to edit the news itself. And our report service will process the data with some machine learning analysis. The benefits of microservices are faster build and faster minimum deployment, easier to recover from broken service, and easy to set up or clone a new service. We need to select the database that supports the right structure, size, and speed to meet the needs of our application. And depending on various service in line today, we need more than one type database. MongoDB for articles due to easy horizontal scaling with sharding. And user-related data are stored in HBase rather than MongoDB because of frequently write operations. And logs are stored in Elasticsearch. Most of these servers are deployed on Kubernetes for automatic deployment and management. And there are side benefits of Kubernetes that make the transition to Kubernetes more easier. We have put lots of effort to Kubernetesize our application. And this may be another session to talk about, but not today. Based on the architecture we proposed, we have encountered some problems. 
What we want to do is to let the content to be published to users as soon as possible. The problem can be separated into three parts. And the first is slow web page loading. This is also the problem caused by outdated HTTP 1.1. Due to the HTTP 2, TCP connection utilization is progressively increased um, by single TCP connection and multiplexing. Also, we redesigned our API to decrease the API payload, and this further speed up the page load time. The second problem is long cache time due to heavy traffic loading. Due to the microservice architecture, although it keeps the same cache level as before, we can decrease the cache time by different services to fit its characteristics. The third problem is our original page API, which is a single bulky API containing all the pages and their page data. It causes slow API load time due to massive payload. Since the page was not configurable, there was no flexibility to decide what information to be displayed by each page. For this reason, we propose a new modularized page setting architecture. And this is what line today's page looks like. As you can see, the page is composed of different modules. The top module is a headline style news module, where the news is manually selected by our editor. The second module is lattice news module, where the news are automatically generated depending on user reading logs. Editor can put whatever module in any category by any order due to different events or conditions. This is the architecture design about uh, modularized page setting. When the editor would like to set up a page, the editor should go to content management system to set up two parts. The first is page setting, which means the page is consists of certain modules. The second part is pa page mapping rule. That means a rule will be mapped to a certain page. And the rule can be different content provider, category, display mode, or combining them all together. The page, was the page and page mapping rule are controlled by page setting service. When the user enters a page, a request for page modules will be sent to the page setting service, and then the composed module are returned without module data. In this case, the, the pages consist of subscription module, article module, recommend module, and comment module. Editor is able to decide whether the subscribe button is shown in the subscription module. Article module can be uh, decided uh, display mode by different content provider. Recommend modules may be set to different numbers of articles in this article. And common module can be hidden due to different conditions. By the microservice architecture, page setting service no need to know what the, how the module data and its external third party API. Page setting service only need to know how to access the necessary data to compose the module the module will send another request to its corresponding microservice to get data. What are the benefits of microservice architecture? Um, uh, the benefits of modularized page setting? Uh, from the system's point of view, it can achieve the goal of fast rendering by shortening the page load time. Through the modularized page setting, a single bulky API is separated into several module APIs and the API payload size is decreased. The most important of all, only the top few modules in the first frame, first frame need to be rendered in the beginning when user access line today. And the lower modules can be rendered by uh, lazy loading afterwards, and it significantly decreases the page load time. From the editor's point of view, modularized page setting is easier to configure. A page can be simply composed by different modules and reduce lots of duplicated settings. Based on the modularized page setting architecture, a new A-B testing framework is also introduced. This can also be used when the new feature to be gradually rolled out. Just like we previously said, the editor should go to content management system to set up page setting and page mapping rule. In this case, the editor needs to set up two different pages, that is page A and page B, which only page B contains an AD module. And it may be uh, un undesirable by the users, but it is necessary for our business. And then the editor is going to set up the uh, page mapping rule. Uh, in this case, we set the rule by user group. 
And here, group A is mapped to page A, and group B is mapped to page B. What is user group? User grouping system is managed by line family service. And user ID can be calculated by a hash function to a number between 0 to 100, so that all the users are divided to 100 sections. The editor will set a certain range to a certain group. The user group can be thus calculated by this hash function. And in this case, group A is from 0 to 35. And user ID of user A is calculated to be 20, and which is between group A, so that the user A is mapped to, uh, it belongs to group A. Page setting service will pass the encrypted user ID to, our, to the user grouping system to get the user group. And exactly, page setting service don't need to know why the user is belongs to which group, but only need to know the user is which group. And now, two different users, A and B, are viewing line to this page, and then send an another request to our page setting service, respectively. And they will get a different response consist consisting of different modules. Not only user B will see an AD module. And in the second part of my session, we'd like to introduce some features released uh, proposed from Thailand. And some features are customized to be used in Thailand, and some are promoted to all other countries. Lottery service is a customized feature uh, for Thailand at around 5 p.m. on every lottery draw day. <coughs> Instant news above children and push messages from official accounts will promote the lottery event to the users. When the user click the uh, event and enter lottery and page. The winning number of uh, winning of current draw as well as history draws is displayed. We also provide a feature to uh, to check whether your own number is winning or not. And users may see different pages if you win the lottery or lose it. And exactly the server pick RPS is due to this checking result API, and the lottery number is cached. Our server only needs to check the result without database access. And this image shows the server resource configuration when lottery service was released in the beginning. We confirmed the appropriate resource configuration with our automation QA by performance test uh, before release. <coughs> and here we are focusing on the replica and CPU and memory. Will replica indicating uh, how many parts the container should be maintained? Before continuing, we have known the difference between request resource and limit resource. Request and limit are the mechanisms that Kubernetes uses to control resources such as CPU and memory. Request is the resource that the container is guaranteed to get, and limit is to make sure a container never goes above a certain value. When the node still has resource, CPU maximum is limited CPU resource, and it cannot get higher and is still able to work. But if memory exists, re limit resource, the container will be discarded. Our memory usage is low at all times, even on the lottery draw day. However, in the peak time, CPU usage will increase in a very short time due to checking result API. After lottery launch, for the few, and it runs smoothly for the few months. A CPU usage alert was notified on a lottery draw day, and the CPU usage exceeds request limit and almost reach limit. What is the solution? We increase replica and decrease CPU and memory resources for each replica. Here is the reason. If a container requests a resource, Kubernetes will schedule it on a node that can give it that resource. Define minimum resource for each container, and expand the service by increasing replica may be a better way to efficiently utilizing Kubernetes. As a result, rather than increase CPU usage, we increase replica but decrease CPU and memory for each container. And you may wonder why not to use auto scaling. Lottery draw is a periodical event. Auto scaling should be based on user traffic or server metrics. Uh, rather than manual manipulating. But if we use metrics to uh, realize auto-scaling, when the traffic comes in a very short time, replica is going to scale. However, when the new containers are already set up, the network traffic is starts to decrease. 
in lottery surface cast. Auto scaling is not suitable. At last, I'm going to quickly introduce a series of fortune related features promoted by a uh, Thailand business owner. These modules are located in Fortel tab, and you can open Line app and switch to Line Today page and find out all tabs. And then you will see Meridat calendar module, uh, Fortune stick module, and Lucky color module are below Fortel tab. The first is Meridat calendar. And you can click the Meridat calendar module, and you will enter the calendar end page. And the top scroller will show all the activities, and you can select what you want to know. The calendar shows the lucky day, unlucky day, super lucky day, and super unlucky day of this month. And the lower half of the page displays the day's description, re recommended activities, and avoid activities. And for today, September 3rd, and it is recommended to give birth from 8.45 to, to 8.42 p.m. And last part is the next five lucky days starting from today. And the second feature is Fortune Stick. The Fortune Stick module shows the famous temples in Thailand. And you can click the title to find out more temples, or directly click the temple to temple description and page. At the below, an animation of drawing the fortune stick is playing. You can click it to draw a stick, and then the result will be seen in the next page. And the last one is Lucky Color. The Lucky Color modules will show a category randomly, and it's Lucky Color today. When you click it to Lucky Color and page, Lucky Color for all activities are displayed. To sum up today's topic, I introduced Line Today's architecture, where the servers are designed to be microservices based on Kubernetes. And how we speed, speed up the page load time and increase the flexibility based on modularized page setting architecture. And finally, we are moving to Thailand features and tuning process. I'd appreciate the time you took to listen to my presentation. Konkrenkrat.